Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and it is time to do another ration pack. I've managed to source a French individual reheatable combat ration, which uh, apparently goes out of date on 16th of November 2019. And what's quite cool about this is it's um, on the pack, it has uh, what it is in French and then what it is in English. So um, we know that we have the plat de cuisine of the tartiflette with a salad italienne or potatoes with cheese and pork with Italian salad. There you go. But we also have pork pate, soup, processed cheese, salted and sweet biscuits, coffee tea, chocolate. We have some nougat, fruit jelly, energy bars, muesli, isotonic drink powders, chocolate bars, jam, tissues, a reheating kit, which is really cool, and some water purifying tablets. So it's a bit of a spoiler, really, isn't it, in terms of what you get inside. Let's open it up and um, let's see what the content actually looks like. Okay, so base says open along the dotted line, which never works, does it? So let's just uh, brute force it. There we go. Wow, this is looking pretty sweet. So look at this muesli, a humongous pack of uh, cereal biscuits, chocolate biscuits and salty biscuits it looks like. I mean this is big, this is a 200 gram pack. Um, what we got? NG bar, a little apricot one, that looks awesome. Chocolate bar, dark chocolate, oh nice. Um, hmm, tea and coffee. These are lots of little pouches. So let's have a look because it's uh, not your English sort of Tetley PG tips and Nescafe. We have some instant coffee and some tea and some sugar and ooh, Royal Salan tea, salt and pepper. Oh, awesome. Who doesn't want that? More sugar, salt and pepper again. Great. And mm, hot chocolate, cheese fondue. I assume that's a processed cheese. Uh, a nougat of fruit, a fruit bar. A little heating kit. I don't want to disappoint you, but I'm not going to use it today. I'm not an animal. I actually have a microwave. Little pack of tissues. <clears throat> Ah, pork roulette uh, pate, delicious. More uh, fruit bars, this is awesome. And NG bars, instant soup, looks pretty good. Leek and potato. And strawberry jam, this is awesome. Isotonic drink. Tartiflette actually looks delicious from the tin. And Italian salad. Okay, so we've got a huge amount of food here. Um, it's hard to know where to start first. So we're just gonna go through it in turn, I reckon. So, uh, coffee flavor NG bar. I don't like coffee flavor things. Let's have a bite. Mmm, yep. That's um, ah, um, ah, very <clears throat> strong coffee flavour. Yum, yeah, yeah. If you like coffee, you'll love that. Pate de fruit. Don't know. That looks like some kind of. Ah, oh, it's like a fruit cheese. Um, like a jelly. Oh, so bite that. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's like, um, that's so delicious. Like uh, compacted fruit with sugar on it, delicious. What's this? Peach and apricot bar. And another energy bar. Oh, look at the, that is, what even is that? What is, it's a thing. It's a thing with stuff in it. Um, tastes like fake apricot. That's not so good, but it's undeniably apricotty. Um, yeah, I think these energy bars, they're a bit fake tasting. 
So then, what energy bar isn't? What's this? Nougat of fruit. <gasps> Proper nougat. The rice paper on everything. Mmm. It tastes just like nougat. Yeah. Um. Noir Eclat de Fèves. Do you love my French? Look at this. Very dark chocolate. Mmm. Yep. It tastes dark and, um, and it's chocolatey. Mmm. These, amazing. These, no thank you very much. Instant soup. Looks like leek and potato. It looks like something. Um, very green. Actually, tastes really nice, yeah. Yum. Tin stuff and biscuits. Looks like we've got two packs of fruity stuff. Then some more like savoury biscuits and we got tin stuff. So let's try some fruity stuff first. Ah, uh, um, 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 mm. Tastes like a, oh, not fruit, chocolate. Yep, that's nice. Let's do like chocolate biscuits, then it's horrible. Then we've got what looks like salt and cereals. Let's try the cereals. Is this like a breakfast biscuit type arrangement? Yeah, probably. Quite nice. We can put savoury stuff on that too. Salty cracker thing. Quite hard. Not like a normal cracker. Mmm, but salty. Right. What's this? Pork roulette. So this is just pate of pork. What's the consistency like? Well, it's got lumps of pork in there and sort of pate pork. Let's not muck around. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Mm. Actually, it actually tastes like pork. With, yeah, the fact is, it's a step up from normal pate. It actually tastes fresher. Weird. Mmm. We oui, chef, we oui. from Arch Fondue. You must say yes to the chef. Don't know. Use that knife because it's had um, pork on it. So let's try weird processed cheese from We oui, chef. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Gonna have to go in again there. Um, yeah, that's all right. It tastes a bit like what you'd expect cheese to taste like if you put it in a tin. It's no worse than Primula, let's put it that way. Black coffee with sugar. Made, bought to you by the company Surd. Um, there you go. Mm. Do you know what? Tastes just like instant coffee. Still drinking the soup, it's delicious. Extreme Sports Nutrition Muesli with chocolate. Um, I've never had Sports Nutrition Muesli, muesli? muesli before. There you go. Mmm. Actually tastes pretty good. Mmm. 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 Still drinking the soup. May meal one. Salad Italien. Oui, chef! Um, it's got some uh, jambon uh, cuit superior uh, or something. Okay. What do we get? To be eaten cold, apparently. Um, got some green beans. Got some red pepper. Got some bits of pork. Let's try a bit of pork. Always eat the meat first. Always good. Um, Mmm, indicator. Actually, do you know what? Doesn't taste like tinned. It tastes pretty good. I've had worse than this at some restaurants. Maybe I'll go to rubbish restaurants. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, I'd actually, 
I actually give that to somebody I like. The famous tartiflette, or as English say, potatoes, pork and cheese. Warmed up the tartiflette, needs a bit of uh, salt, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, actually probably a lot of pepper. Ooh, nice big flakes, bonus points. Give it a stir, it's got a nice healthy bit of oil on there, you can see the sheen, can't you? And let's have a taste of that. So a bit of potato. That is so hot. But it tastes nice and cheesy. What's the pork? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes porky. Yeah, like um like not quite <clears throat> fresh, slightly tinned flavour gammon, but no, not bad. Pretty tasty, prefer the uh, Italian salad. A bit of pudding, we got some strawberry jelly on a biscuit. Tastes like strawberry jelly on a biscuit. Well done, and dross. Obligatory in every MRE. Weird isotonic gunk which doesn't taste or anything. That's how... Yeah, oh, no, no. That is deeply wrong. What What even flavour is that? That's not even a thing. This is not a thing. Do not drink this. Strangely dark cocoa powder that I actually wish I'd made up with milk, but the pitcher makes it look like it's really dark. So this is actually cocoa, not hot chocolate. Um, quite sweet, quite strong. If you like brown chocolate flavoured water, Brilliant. Soup done. So there we go. That was an overview of the uh, Russian de Combat Individuel Menu 10. Um, overall, I actually thought that that was really nice. And actually, I hate to say it, a step up from the British uh, rations. I am now going to go back and uh, finish up my biscuits with this pork roulette, which is delicious. Have a bit more of that Italian salad. Finish up my um, uh, tartiflette. And I reckon that's a good job done. Thank you for watching. If you'd like seeing these MRE vids, then um, just tell me in the comments below. Um, they won't be very often, you know, actually, they're quite expensive to get hold of them. So, um, yeah, I won't be doing it that often, but I do enjoy uh, exploring these ration packs. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.